Welcome back to Simple and Rockets 2 and this is the second tutorial in the little mini series I'm doing on tutorials. Don't quote us on anything I see. Right there's the disclaimer out of the way. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe and I do lots of space activities where I send a lot of junk into space because that's what space is about. Sending junk into it, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, as well, I've also just created a Patreon. Don't feel obliged to go and check it out, but if you do want to go and check it out, it's got a pretty funny little description there. You can have a read, and there you go. So remember to subscribe and like. So you asked for it in the Discord. If you, He's another plug. If you haven't already been to the Discord, join the Discord, and we do votes regularly on what videos you would like to see. Anyway, this tutorial is about, as you'll have seen in the description and the thumbnail, these engines. So, I'm thinking the only way to show how to use engines is to pretty much just build something that gets into orbit and show you how I go about doing it. Might not be the right way, might not be the wrong way, but this is how I do it personally, and I think this might help. So, we're just going to build something that gets into orbit here. So, I'm just going to plop down a parachute, I'm going to get a heat shield on here. Um, where if I find the right one, that's it. The heat shield on here. Into stage, get, move that up like so. Right, so I'm going to turn that little hand off. So if you do find you, you just want to click things like this, then do press that hand and that'll go away. This is just a little helper for mobile. Works the same on PC. Right. So see it, this is going to be the part that stays in orbit, right? So you've got to presume this has to have enough thrust to get into a stable orbit. So what you're going to do is just get rid of the engine, make the fuel tank how you want it to look. doesn't really matter how it looks. See, you want to make it like that. There we go, right. Then we'll go to engines. You can see on here they all have a little bit of a description. So low power engine, useful for setting stages and landing on planetary bodies. So that one is a good one for a setting stage. The mage one, powerful engine can be used for take off and orbiting, not a great choice for landing on moons. You can see a little how different they are there. This one, it's heavy, expensive, and drinks fuel like no tomorrow, but it has the power to do that. So this one is pretty much going to be your first stage engine only. That's all it's going to be used for. This one, a Titan engine, powerful, efficient engine that used. Yep, yep. So this one again, probably is going to be used for launches. And then we've got the Dragon Engine, which is a nuclear thermal engine. Do not lick. So that's that one. This one can also be used in second stages for getting into planetary, but that's entirely up to you. Then we have the solid rocket motor, which is good for boosters. But I would not use these solely on your craft because that is just a recipe for disaster. Ion Engine pretty much useless unless you've got a really small satellite and you want to send it with that with a lot of electricity and everything and then we've got the jets but unless you're making a plane you don't have to worry about them right so the second stage I would probably go with the pixie or where is it or the mage so we'll try the pixie first so what you want to do, just drag the engine on that you want. If you only want one, then just put the one in the center like that. Or if you want more than one, use these little fuel adapters. Like I showed you in the last video, if you want to check that out. Um, oops. 
this is where this hand comes in handy on mobile. So you point that arrow at that and then move it away like that. Yeah, so if you want to check out the first tutorial on that. Right, so we've got our engine on and we're just going to leave it like that. No, we are not going to leave it like that. That would be crazy. Okay, so if we go down to the engine settings while highlighting it, on here, click on this, and then you can see the engine, rocket engine settings here. So you want to click on analyze performance. First thing you want to do first before we go into that is check your staging is correct so far. So yes, the engine's first, and then the end stage, and then the parachute. Perfect. So that is fine. Go back to the settings. What you want to do is just pretty much close that one. Say this stage is going to start firing at about 39 kilometers. We're just going to put it at that and then it's going to get into orbit from there. So what you want to do is go along to the first stage. And you can see delta V is pretty high, 3000 meters per second. That is plenty to get from mid-range up into orbit. But what you can see here is starting, don't look at anything other than delta V and starting um, TWR. TWR is your field weight ratio. So at the moment it's at 0 0.7. That means our craft is heavier than the amount of thrust the engine produces. So in other words we're not going to be gaining much velocity. Because we're just going to be burning into our delta V and going nowhere. So we want to aim to try and get that over 1. So how we're going to do that? We're going to try to increase the size first. That normally does the job. See we're over 1 now. It does lower fuel efficiency. But that doesn't matter so much. If you don't want to change the size. What I tend to do. I mean I'm no expert in all of this. <laughs> Far from it. What I tend to do is try switching the fuel type. As you can see, different fuel types have different um, ways of burning, so it changes this. So if we go into here, we can see what the different fuel types are. So this first one, it's liquid oxygen and kerosene for use in rocket engines. It's cheap and only moderately cryogenic, so it's safer and easy to work with. The downside is it's not as efficient as some of the other fuels. If we look at the next one, liquid oxygen and liquid nitrogen is used in rocket engines. Um, it's very efficient, but is extremely low density and therefore requires larger fuel tanks. So pretty much you're getting less fuel in but it's more efficient then the next one is liquid oxygen liquid methane for use in rocket engines somewhat more efficient than Carolex but easier to work with than that trust us you don't want to hear us trying to pronounce the names so we want to set this fuel tank to automatic fuel type so the engine will just change that okay Go back to our stage one and we can see if we change our fuel type, it's changing our delta V, but it's also changing our starting fuel weight. And what we want, we don't want it too high, see where it is 1.69 there. That is too inefficient because you're burning too much fuel too fast for the velocity you're going to gain. So you want to keep it at around one. Just over one, say 110 or something like that. So, see, we've got that there. We can always just change these. Pretty much, I would say, just mess around with the sliders until you get that number. I'll point to it. This number over one. And your delta V is around, say, 3000 for the second stage. That would be fine. Right, so once you've gotten that, what you want to do is then add your interstage. And we'll go for our main fuel tank, which is going to be for the first stage. So we will add that in, make it as big as we want. I don't know, go like that. And then we're going to put... The 
one apex engine right at the bottom, like so. And it is massive. <laughs> it's actually too big for this craft. We'll probably not go with that, actually. Let's put it back down and we'll go, we could even go with a mage, to be honest. But I think we'll go with the Titan. No. Although, I think that one's actually bigger. No, it doesn't really matter. Right, so go back to your stage and check everything's working. That's working fine. Into stage, engine, into stage, parachute. Right. So if we go back to settings, hover over our new engine, go down and analyze performance, and we want to go to the ground, altitude zero, so we're going from the ground. So here we go, stage one, we are way over the field weight ratio because this engine is way too powerful. So what I want to do, I'm going to turn the size down, and then chamber pressure, I'm going to keep that up actually. Change the nozzle size a little bit and change the pressure down so we don't burn too much fuel. So, see there, we now have 4000 meters per second. Our starting fuel weight is 1.12. So, that is really good actually for a first stage, but we are transporting a light stage so. It should be fine. So if we go into here, we can see we've got total on the ground weight, um, delta V, of 5,000 metres per second, and a vacuum delta V total of 7,700. So what we're going to do, as you can see here, first stage 112, and second stage in the vacuum is 106. So we would be perfectly fine. This is well over capable. Of getting into orbit. So there we go. That's pretty much all I know on engines. You just gotta just make sure these numbers on this list here are over one. I know that that second stage isn't over one there, but that's because the altitude set zero. But it isn't going to be firing up until it gets around forty kilometers. Probably more with how powerful this first stage is, so we'll go all the way at vacuum. And there we go, it is, it is over one. Each stage depends where you're trying to target. If you're going to the moon, I'd take around 3000 meters per second in the second stage here, delta V. And if you're going to another planet, I'd take around 4000 meters per second delta V. For that one so that's pretty much all i know i'm no expert and like i say if this helped anyone then please do leave a like and subscribe and we'll continue this mini series do check out the links below and i'll see you in the next one